A barrel some believe could contain the remains of a Delaware County woman missing for more than 25 years was raised from the bottom of Grand Lake this morning. Last month, Fox 23 told you about the discovery of a 55 gallon drum found underwater near the former home of Peggy Sweeten, who disappeared in 1998. And a story you'll see only on Fox 23. Rick Marinon was the only Tulsa based reporter there today and is live with what happened during the dive. Well, it was not what they were hoping for at all. There is no answers still to this at this hour as to what has happened to Peggy Sweeten. However, we are told that this is just checking off a little part piece of the property of a large, good-sized piece of property that actually goes into Grand Lake, and there is still plenty that could be searched. It was one of the most promising leads on what could have happened to Peggy Sweeten. Monday, Delaware County law enforcement recovered a large barrel from under the dock of what was at one point the Sweeten family home. Yeah, we're looking for a barrel that we thought remains might be in. We, we actually did find the barrel. Oh, there's no remains in it. Mark Wall is an investigator with the Delaware County District Attorney's Office. He says the barrel was so old and rusty, it broke open and gave way. You can see some of the pieces here. There was a belief when the barrel was initially found by divers last month, Peggy could be inside. Investigators didn't just come to a random house here at Grand Lake. Instead, this blue house here is the exact house Peggy Sweeten lived in when she disappeared back in 1998. After the barrel broke open, divers scoured the lake bed in multiple directions around it to see if anything fell out. Wall says they found nothing. He says because the barrel was so rusty, it's not clear if it was the 55 gallon drum also reported missing from the Sweden property the same time Peggy disappeared. We talked to the family. Uh, they, of course, were disappointed that, that nothing was found, but we assured them that we're not done, that we're continuing on. In 1998, James Sweden told police his wife left with a man she had met online. The problem was Peggy Sweeten did not use email and never had an email address. Peggy's family was on scene hoping for closure, but left heartbroken and disappointed. But law enforcement say there are still plenty of other leads to explore, and Monday is a new beginning, not an end. We're hopeful that we'll have a resolution to, to the case and find uh, Miss Sweeten, who's been missing since 98. Uh, our mood hasn't changed. If anything, we're more determined to solve this than we were before. As you heard him just say, investigators here at the sheriff's office are more determined than ever to finally get this thing solved. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Delaware County Sheriff's Office. If it is after hours, go ahead and leave a voice message. If you know anything, because they want to get this done, they are ready to give this family some answers. Live in Jay, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.